Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can take a QR code, generate one in AI, and be able to bring it to life with WebAR, just like this. So we'll scan the QR code, open the link. Of course, it's going to come up in the portal and ask us to line up the image that's already in front of us. Line up image, so we'll do that. And this is how you can use it as a tracker as well. Let's get started. So of course, this is the Rollcast uh, Studio. We're just going to create a new instance of it. So we're simply going to go to Printcast. You've picked Printcast. We don't need to watch the tutorial. We'll call this QR code demo or tut. Let's go uh, next. In this case, you just go to design in Canva. We're not actually going to use Canva, but we're just going to use a placeholder. Go invitation five and a half by five and a half. That'll give you a square image. Then you can pretty much just grab anything as long as it has enough texture for a uh, for the system to grab onto. So try and find something that has a lot of uh, contrast and, and lines. So in this case, we'll just grab this one. Even though it's not what we're going to use, we're going to go export to Printcast. Again, we're just using this placeholder so we can get the URL that we need for the QR code, right? That's good to go. Let's go create. Okay, in this case, we don't need to put any of the elements on yet. We're just going to go save because we want the URL and the QR code. Go save and publish. You can keep it on, you can keep it on free. Uh, Unless you want to give us money, of course, go to upgrade. But in this case, we'll just go leave it on free. Go check out. There's our QR code. Go to this little gear and go simple. And just download the PNG. It was downloaded to your folder. And we're just going to copy that URL. So now that we've got that, we're going to go over to the link. This link will be in the description. Hugging Face, the Hugging Face uh, Projects QR Code AI Generator. So we're going to paste that uh, URL. All right. If you're looking at the timestamp down below, uh, You'll see that's now 420. It was like around 410 or something when I started this. Uh, I had a little bit of an internet dropout, so let's just do this again real quick. Nothing to do with our software. It's just uh, Starlink happened to go down. So you can either, you don't have to put the QR code in. You can just put that in. It helps if you want to keep that, retain that one. So in this case, I'm just going to leave the QR code off. You can put the one in there if you want just by uh, dragging and dropping. And I'll just illustrate that. You can just drag and drop the QR code that we did grab. In this case, I am going to try it without, uh, without putting it in there just because I'm curious. Uh, you can just keep it simple or you can put whatever you want in here i'm just going to put superhero with superhero city scene and you can get as complex as you want right if you're a prompt artist you'll be better luck you can change all these parameters in this case quick and dirty i'm just going to hit run it's going to have a pretty fair clip so i always recommend checking out the qr code to make sure that it works first in this case the qr code works it's going to go through to the link that we predefined which is going to bring up that image of what we had for the birthday so it's great. Let's download this QR code. Perfect. Let's go back out to WorldCast and we're just gonna go return to studio and we're simply going to go uh, cast properties and we're gonna come over here to the current cast image and we're going to replace the current tracking image. All we have to do is go select new file, select file on desktop. So we're just gonna grab that QR code, just select it from where you saved it. It's got good tracking. So we're going to go update. Let's we'll close this bottom bar. And now you can start adding content. I'm not going to go as complex as the parallax one. I have different tutorials for that, which I'll put in the uh, links for the description. In this case, we'll just add text as an example. Let's go create text. Type in a little world cast. All right, let's just make it bigger, change the color, screen, bring it up off the page. Maybe let's just go to Sketchfab real quick. Grab a bird flying around the buildings. Let's go animate it and, and to me, bird. Sure. Let's grab the phoenix. Let's just go import. Let's move it where we want it. Actually, rotate it this way. That. Maybe we'll have it flying away. There we go. And let's bring it down. Remember, it's what you see is what you get editor. So spatial editor. So wherever you place the content is where it's going to appear when you're done. So that looks good enough to me. All right. Let's go save. We got the QR code here. Let's bring it over in the other monitor. Let's go check out. Let's just go return to the studio. We left it on free already. And We've already got that cute. Let's just refresh the QR or the browser because it's the same one. We'll save at the QR code and there's our content locked to that QR code. So of course, if you want to do that in behind the scenes with the parallax, I have the other tutorial on how to do that. And you can take this exact same image and have going into the scene just like I did with the, uh, the Spider-Man. And that's as easy as it is to create a QR code using uh, Hugging Face, uh, using your own prompts, and be able to put it back into Printcast and be able to assign content to it, uh, audio, text, images, buttons, Sketchfab, your custom, your own three, custom 3D, uh, 360 images, and video as well. You can also add video, even green screen uh, footage. So lots of different options to be able to present content you want and use the QR code as its own tracking image. I can't wait to see what you create.